Hello, welcome to C Sharp version 6 feature. Part 1 Auto Property Initializer brought to you by Ankro Technologies. My name is Harish. In this session, we are going to learn a feature C Sharp version 6 feature that is Auto Property Initializer. Right now, we'll understand what it is. Okay, Auto Property Initializer. Auto Property Initializer is a new concept to set the value of a property during the property declaration itself. Okay, here let us see the differences. What what's been added to C Sharp version six and what was there in C Sharp version five. In the C Sharp version five, we can set the values of the property in the default constructor of the class. Uh, in the sense, you can observe in this slide here. I'm having three properties named age and salary for this property if I want to assign the values then I used to use the default constructor then there I used to assign the values for example name is equal to Nathan age 25 salary triple line this is for this is this is the way um, I used to assign values to the properties using the default constructor but coming back in C sharp 6 we can set the default value of the read only property it means the property that has only a get attribute then how do I do that it's very simple you can observe in this slide if uh, my property is having only the get that is only read only then I can initialize those values values for these properties directly using the equal to uh, equal to operator so I ca you can observe here when I use public string property I'm assigning the value within year only and similarly age as 25 and salary as triple nine this is what the difference between C sharp version 5 and C sharp version 6 and here is also the code for that in the C sharp version 5 you can observe if I want to initialize values three to these properties name age and salary I used to create the default constructor then I used to assign the values but C sharp version 6 uh, it came up with a new feature called auto property initializer what it does is it's very simple if your property is only the read only property then you can assign the value directly there using the equal to operator that's what I'm doing here for the name I'm assigning Nathan age is 25 and salary is Nathan now without wasting much time we'll jump into Visual Studio and we'll see a demo of this so first of all what I'm doing is uh, I want to create a <coughs> What I'll do is I'll just create a class called uh, employee uh, okay let me create a constructor of it okay later uh, let me create properties first how do I create properties property int ID property int or st string name and coming to the other property like uh, salary name age and department okay now if you want to initialize these values then what I was doing earlier in C sharp version 5 was I used to initialize them in the default constructor so I'll give ID is equal to 101 name sorry name equals like uh, C sharp and name ID and department programming okay and now you can observe here how did I assign values to these properties using the default constructor I assigned the values but uh, um, coming to C sharp version 6 what they did was if your property is only the read only property type then instead of uh, doing like this okay then you can assign the values directly here it's very simple like if it is ID then I would like to assign values 101 and if it is a name then I used to assign values C sharp directly here using the equal to operator and department come here and specify like programming department done this is what the specialty of auto property initializer in the C sharp version 6 and that's what we learned in this session it was um, okay that's that's what we learned here and last but not the least uh, thank you for listening and don't forget to give your feedback and also please subscribe to our channel Ankro training 
where you can watch the C-Sharp videos there and we are also on Facebook you can like our page www.facebook.com slash training and also we are on Twitter and we have website for further references you can refer the website and we are on LinkedIn too and thank you for listening have a great day